So thank you. First, let me thank the organizer to for this invitation, and uh, I would like uh, to talk about uh, joint work with uh, one of them. With, uh, uh, with uh, Yang Yam Lee. And it's about, uh, sorry if some of, of you have already listened to this talk. And uh, it's about, <coughs> as uh, the title says, the dominant map from uh, surface of general type <coughs> to something. But let me to introduce the general problem. So to introduce the general problem, I will work over the complex number. And uh, x uh, will be smooth, <coughs> algebraic, projected, <coughs> is not so, of dimension n. And uh, so n should be 2 and uh, at uh, some time. And x will be a general type. <coughs> But the beginning is not so important. So I would like to fix uh, the set of the, all the fields that contains the base field. So the K field. That con ah. So let uh, R of X be rational. Field of uh, X, and I take the intermediate field, and uh, as uh, we know, this corresponds to some rational field of some you can take smooth variety, and the inclusion corresponds to. A rational map is rational dominant map. Can you use the different letter for the field and the set? Sorry? We are using ah, the yes. maybe descriptive or something. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, so I would like to define uh, the subset of uh, K, K this, this K script K will not appear. So, so anyway, E S is then by Itaka and then S by Severi, and I will see in a moment. So we take the K in the script K such that <coughs> K is. Uh, R of Y and the codire dimension of Y is uh, bigger or equal than I. And uh, maybe the most interesting case for us is take uh, a subset here and then the set of uh, uh, K in this E S and in Itaka Severi I, maybe of, obviously of X, such that the, the map, the, the map is finite, is a gen, uh, what, is finite degree. Which means that, uh, uh, R of X to K, the degree is finite. Okay, so the map uh, like this. And um, so also we we are interested, so when you study the birational uh, geometry, one is interested in, yeah, in the minimal model, but you should, one should be interested also in the morphings between uh, Variety, no? So it is 
So uh, it's not just interesting in the set, but maybe more in the structure. But so uh, let's call. Uh, but we at the moment <laughs> consider only the set, and uh, we take the cardinality of this e s i of x. Also, this depends on x, and uh, accordingly m prime of x. The cardinality of this is prime of x. And um, so the main problem, which is, I think, in some sense, big problem, difficult one, main problem today, I mean, in this talk, compute, in some case, but, uh, compute, m i of m i prime. So, so in some case, okay. so uh, you have this set, and then you would like to know if this is finite or not finite, or say something. And uh, as I, I, I told you in the case, uh, well, there is this minimal uh, model program, and uh, it in fact, is, it gives a very important result, and is the solution. So the minimal by m many people that said uh, Acorn, McKernan, Suji, I don't know. And many other, as a consequence of this work, what is known is that uh, uh, this uh, E S N, where N is the dimension of X, uh, is finite. Is finite. Could be empty. Oh, if if this is not of general type, this is empty. But otherwise, it's finite. And then it is uh, m i belongs to the. Sorry. If x is of general type. Otherwise, it's empty. It's written there. Yeah. Yeah. The target is is of general type. The target is general type because n uh, uh, the map should go to something quadratic dimension maximal. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Thank you. So this is, uh, yeah, okay, this is maybe is not a <coughs> uh, complicated way to say exactly that the map from something of general type to something of general type is uh, starting with fixed x. So in fact, uh, now this is called the Itaka severity problem. In this case, but let me add that uh, uh, this was proved, but the strategy was uh, was given in by Mahara in the surface case. So when uh, they proved that the volume. Uh, when the people from minimal model pro prove that the volume of general type uh, uh, variety is bounded from below, they prove uh, follow directly from the strategy of Maiara. And in case of curve, was proven by Severi. Okay. So. <coughs> Now uh, let me start uh, with uh, the dimension one case, curve case. For two reasons, one because that this is the easy case, the easiest case, and the second because we also we use the result from, from the curve case in the case of the surfaces. So, so when the genus is equal to zero, we have nothing to say, so they are rational. So. 
when the genus is one, what I call M0, so the subfields that are not rational, T is uh, in, in, infinite because we have isogeny from elliptic curve. And any exogeny give a different uh, field, which is not rational. And uh, obviously, m1 is 0. But I don't see the point where g equals 0. You also have uh, subfields. Uh, OK, I take this uh, esi. i is an integer, so I don't take the minus infinity case. OK. okay. So let me maybe consider to, because maybe the, the, the notation is a little confused, so we, we consider essentially S this set, that means that map from X to Y, Y of general type, and the, the other extremal case, the map from X to Y, such that <coughs> uh, the Kodaira dimension of y is uh, different from uh, infinite, uh, minus infinite. I can't remember then. Okay. So for genus zero, there's nothing. There's just rational. Okay. For genus one, when uh, when the genus is uh, bigger or equal than two then uh, M0 uh, is uh, uh, either uh, z uh, 0, no, 1. M0 is, uh, is not finite if and only if you have a map from x to e, which e is genus 1. So if you have a map, if you dominate something analytic curve, then you have all the subfields that you are obtained by isogeny of the elliptic curve by composing, by composing E, for instance, the multiplication by N on E. And uh, otherwise, uh, M1 is finite, as uh, the we said before, but this was the given by Severi. But so, to compute some, uh, in some cases, we would like to say something when uh, uh, C is, is very, uh, well, maybe I have to add something. That this number, we say that this number M of N is uh, finite. And in some sense, there is also effective bound, very bad bound, but this effective is not so is not so good because it depends uh, on uh, the estimate of the minimal volume. So I don't know if this is effective. Maybe it's not. Uh, so one of the minimal volume of the the variety of a general type. Hmm? But for surfaces and curves, this is more or less. Uh, so now, what happens for the general curve? For the general curve, oh no, so for general curve, In Mg, G bigger or equal than 2, we have that uh, this M1 is equal to 1. So only you have the identity. There are no other map on to other curves. When the, uh, <coughs> for very general, And we really need very general curve. Then M0 is also equal to 1. So the general curve has no map onto elliptic curve. But it is very general. 
So they are. No, it's big. Uh, the the what is the identity? The, yes. the identity. M0 I put. Is bigger than M1. I put in the definition of <coughs> SN that is bigger or equal than. Uh, okay. But you can put uh, yeah, yeah. equal and then this is yeah. zero. Okay. Depends on. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's better. It would be better too. So uh, very general. Let me, there are at least two proofs of this, of, of this and uh, very simple, well, very simple, one very simple, also the other is not, uh, so this maybe. And uh, so, I will consider these two proofs. The first one, The first one is, uh, I'd like to call this by deformation theory, well, which is an exaggerated name. <coughs> so you use uh, just Urwitz, Urwitz uh, we work over the, the complex number, so you use Urwitz. Put the space, so something like uh, that depends on uh, to take uh, g prime uh, uh, bigger or equal than uh, than one, and g is fixed. So g g prime and some d, and then you have to put some ramification. But any of these uh, of these space of dimension less or equal than two g minus one by Urwitz formula. And the image of the modular and the image in the modular is in fact uh, of dimension 2g less or equal than 2g minus 2, it, because 2g minus 1 is just in the elliptic case. And then this is less than 3g minus 3. And so there is a countable number, because this depends on countable number of number, by bare category result. So we have this, uh, the, f the, the result that uh, there are no map onto any elliptic curve also. If you just uh, consider the case when the genus is bigger than two, you can prove that there is a, this uh, closed set in Mg. And so you have the, the first result. Okay. The second kind of result, the second, uh, say, type of proof, use it, again, I use a name. You can use. I, I the theory, you mean the naive counterconstant? Counter yeah, naive counterconstant. Which, of course, you can make rigorous with logarithmic shifts, but it's, you it's can a really count of. Count of model, I can. French points plus modulate for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I mean, yeah, I say deformation to say, okay, I use count of modulate. Maybe it's that is good. Okay, okay. The second, also here I use uh, Odge, uh, let's say Odge theory. Also here is exaggerated name. You prove that for general, for very general. The Jacobian is simple. So no proper abelian variety. It's very easy to prove for the general curve, this. But uh, and then it's clear that if you have a map from uh, C to C1, you look at the map from the Jacobian, and you take uh, the kernel of F star, and you take the connected component. This is a, 
an abelian subvariety. And but you have only two possibilities. Either t is zero and c1 is p1 or is uh, all the Jacobian. In this case, c1 is uh, isomorphic to c. So there are no other possibility, OK? By Urwitz. Maybe. OK. The kernel. So this is the genus G. This is the genus G prime. If G prime is less than G, then uh, there is some kernel. And then this is not simple. OK? Oh, I, I, yeah, yeah, I, I, it is very simple. I think you, maybe I'm not waking up. We change the case. OK. Uh, the pullback. Ah, you can take the pull. Yeah, okay. You can take the pullback. That is Albanese, and you can take. The you say that if the kernel is the is everything, it's identity, but it's not true. If the kernel is everything, this is P one. It's P one. It's yeah. P one. Ah, yeah. so imagine if the kernel. Ah, well. ah thank you. Okay, this is thank you. So this this second method works in a, not only for very general uh, But I mean this is not uh, not so easy. I mean this is what to do with the year two, right? Mm, well n nowadays it's very easy, no? You can go to the for instance to the boundary <coughs> in two different by induction it's, by it's, it's quite it's, it's quite it's easy. For instance, you can go by, you, can, you have many proof now, by deformation, by, uh, yeah, there are some not easy proof, but that give uh, more, more information. For instance, assume S is a regular surface. Projective. And take uh, H uh, very ample. Then you can take uh, a Lecher pencil and uh, by Lecher um, by looking to the uh, at the monodromy. Of a left chef. pencil in uh, H on uh, the fem uh, on the object structure H one. Let's say. One proof that. The monodromy acts in an irre irreducible way. This implies this implies that the Jacobian is uh, gives also more information, but it implies that the Jacobian the Jacobian. Of the J of the very general on the H one Z. Yeah, you have to irreducible way. So the action in H one Z of the monodromy. This is a. So the monodromy is something a symplectic group and acts on uh, this space in an irreducible way. Okay? And so there are no sub uh, odd structure and then the Jacobian of any general element because they are polarized uh, odd structure so uh, so the Jacobian of very general element
of a left shift pencil is simple. Okay. So for any, uh, when you have a very ample uh, uh, divisor and you take the general element, uh, so C in uh, H, then uh, it is M1 uh, one, also M0 of C is just one. So only the identity because of the argument of for instance the general smooth curve smooth plane curve So this is the approach which would work in high dimension, or uh, yeah, no, no, no. In high no. dimension, we, we, if you wait one moment, I will tell you. Yeah, this work, uh, but it's not enough. Example: Jenner's mod plane curve uh, C in uh, P two of degree. Well. When the, the, the degree is 3, this is simple, but it's analytic. So when the degree is bigger or equal than 3, uh, m0 uh, of c is equal to 1. OK? There's Why no before you had very general, now you have general? No, because it's very general. Because it's a mistake. And in fact, it's uh, unique. It's so again, to say something in the, in the curve case, you can uh, so, so again, uh, two things in a curve case, a remark. For uh, the gener uh, very general. Two to one a tall covering of a curve, let's say of genus bigger than bigger than three, then uh, is known that the prime variety is simple. And so, using the same kind of argument, in this case, we can say that M1 of C prime is 2. There is the identity and just this map. And uh, we generalize, and uh, in the case, uh, very general again, but uh, Galois, we generalize because we need in the surface case. Galois et al. case of P to 1 map the, where P is prime, prime number. The same result, like this. And also, very recently, I must say it is given by not by my collaborator, more than me. The same, uh, the same case when you have some uh, two to one with some ramification. But uh, well, it is when, but when C is a plane curve, smooth plane. This is also in preparation in some work. In, uh, so the, you say something in this case. And again, uh, it's more or less yeah. very general. Everything is very general. So maybe you are tired of very general. So I'd like to ask to add a remark. See, it's very general, and the covering is very general. Everything is, and the ramification points are very general inside of G. And also, in this case, uh, 
is a plane curve and uh, the ramification is on a conic. Okay. So because you are, so let me remark, there are some curves that uh, ha having uh, some, uh, not some, some, some uh, given curve. Having uh, the Jacobian simple. So there are some modular curves. What do you mean, explicit curve? Explicit curve, modular curve, and maybe other, but. So there are examples, sp specific examples, but it's difficult to uh, write the equation of a curve. Uh, so maybe s let me give this sub problem, but it's very. Hard. Given a curve C, let's say define it over uh, the, inter the integers. Is is it possible? Is is there any algorithm to to compute? say M0 or M1, so given a curve, is it possible to say how many subfields not uh, rational do you have? Someone told me that maybe using, but I mean algorithm means also not effective, but just to decide something. But I mean, do you want the subfield also to define the over zero? No, over Q bar, something like this. No? Well, over Z, let's say. Okay, might given a curve and then you. Uh, a plane curve. You know, write the equation of plane curve and say, it is. Uh, it's difficult, no? It's just difficult to say if these are automorphic or not. Okay. So let's move to the surface case, which is the. So in the surface case. So I would like first uh, give the statement of our theorem. Is it possible to do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you can compute the endomorphism, I think you will, you can solve uh, this problem. Yeah, maybe it's possible. Uh, yeah, there are more difficult problems, uh, more general problems, like to compute the endomorphism of a Jacobian of a fixed curve. So, so let S be. No, so X be a surface uh, one of the following be one of the following so first one x smooth uh, very general x uh, in P3 of degree of x uh, bigger or equal than 5, so general type case, to x the product of c by d, genus of c bigger or equal than, if I remember, 7, and genus of d bigger or equal than 2, then uh, third, ah, maybe I give you in this case, we have m0 of x equal to 1. So there are no, no rational subfields of, uh, this was our uh, aim to prove. So that also in uh, surfaces, 
like uh, for plane curve or for general curve, we can uh, prove that if you have any subfields of uh, a surface is uh, very general, uh, of degree bigger or equal than five, then uh, there are no non-rational subfields, or there are no non-dominant map onto any surface or curve. Obviously, curve is because they are regular, so uh, any surfaces which is not uh, rational. So also fields are rational. This was our aim, to find an, an example. Also, I, I didn't say it, but M0 is much more difficult than M1, because M1, if you take something with smaller volume, you, you can say that M, at least you have given an example. No? Because if, k, if k, k squared is equal to 1, you have no map onto up to the identity to or oh, automorphisms to another variety of general type. The third one. The well, in this case, m uh, zero of x uh, is a tree because we have also the trip, the, the projection on uh, well on c and on d and the identity. Very right, stupid. The symmetric product. When uh, the genus of C is bigger or equal than 7, 9, I remember. or 9, I didn't remember, 9. M of C2 is 1. This is more recent. X is the general, uh, is an hyperplane. Of uh, F, F. Fano, trifold, of degree, I write bigger, but uh, is, uh, is understood. Huh? Bigger, but fixed. If we don't fix the degree, I think we can prove that for a very sufficient uh, positive uh, hyperplane, the same holds, so m is equal to one. And now there is a still a, some <coughs> a covering two to one of x, but this is still a work in progress. We would like to have an, just one example. I don't know what, if this is very interesting, but to compute when this is 2. M1 uh, is 2. Okay. Any questions? So this is the result. And uh, so I'd like to give the proof uh, of uh, 1 <coughs> and uh, say if I have time some uh, word on 2, which is more, mm, either more difficult technically is more difficult. And the other case are more or less the same. So let me mention that be before the work uh, I given with uh, Yong Yam Lee, we gave a, a work with uh, Lucio Guerra. There was a previous work. with uh, Guerra, where we, se we settled the strategy. Huh? The strategy was very simple, was to use both methods. method and uh, and then uh, the formation some deformation or modular count method hmm? so odds plus count of moduli and uh, we, we, we succeed only to prove that uh, m1 not mz m2 Sorry, M2, so the general uh, 
m2 of x is equal to 1 when the degree of x is less or equal than 9 or a little more, but I need just 9. So maybe the fact that the I didn't understand understood for a lot of time why degree, what, huh? degree in the, the degree was at least five. No. Yeah, I say that with which where yes. we proved that in this range from oh. from five to nine. Okay. So when the volume is small. Okay? But that the strategy was like this. First, so let me give, so assume by contradiction, so let me give the proof of one, no? More or less. So by contradiction, assume you have a map from X to some S. Let me assume to be here because uh, yeah, in the Lucio Guerra we that S is general type, maybe S, well, no, no, let's say S not rational, uh, not ruled. Okay, so. M0. Zero. M0. Zero. 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 Okay. So I don't find the right way to, to write the picture. So we solve the singularity. So this is F, this is rational, this is F, and this is blowing blow up. Like this. Okay, this is the picture we will use. I call, no, I call maybe it is epsilon, it is f. So the first lemma, which is very, well, which is very simple because we use this old theoretical method. So lemma. And so it will be bigger or equal than five, but uh, okay. So lemma. We get uh, one pg of s equal q of s equal zero, and second that the fundamental group of s is zero. So we extract from uh, it is using say odd. method. So the fact that Q is zero is clear, no? because if you dominate something which is uh, irregular, this is also irregular. Q. Then, to show that PG is equal to zero, we use the fact that X is very general. Then uh, we take the H2X uh, the cohomology. It splits in uh, the primitive part plus, uh, in this case, uh, just the hyperplane. Maybe I should write uh, Q instead of Z, but to be more safe. So this is the left of the composition. Okay. 
But now by using the, the, the argument of the monotomy, by hard left shift theorem, P2, the Hodge structure P2, Q or whatever, is uh, irreducible. So it is, take a pencil, so this is a very ample in a P3, and uh, the, the very general uh, hyperplane has uh, the primitive part in the composable. So this is the only decomposition possible. This implies Plus the equivalent, more or less, that the transcendental so this implies the uh, neuter left shift theorem because this is the only uh, algebraic part. Because if there is some uh, not algebraic part. If there is another uh, al algebraic part, it gives another z here in the neuron severi group. That the uh, transcendental uh, part of H2 is exactly P2. And this transcendental part is can be defined, this transcendental part of T. And T can be defined as the maximum sub the structure of H2 that contains H20. So the, the two zero form. And uh, this part is uh, birational invariant. The maximal structure that contains something is everything. The minimal. minimal. Thank you. Thank you very much. The minimal uh, about structure. So so the decomposition is T plus neuron severi is equal to H2. Thanks. Okay. And uh, then uh, this is a birational invariant. Because when you blow up, you add uh, some class in the neuron severi. And uh, so uh, now we can. Uh, Use the same argument of uh, we use in the Jaco in the curve case. So just to we just to get that the pullback of the uh, h to zero of s, which is inside the pullback of h two, the transcendental part of H2 of S. Right. So this pullback here can be either everything, so... Sorry, I'm confused. So we you start... Were talking about, you were talking about X. Yeah, but this is a birational invariant, so they are the same. The transcendental part of X right, and X tilde... Sorry, you wrote T of H2 of S. The transcendental part of H2 of S, we pull back uh, we take the pullback of this part, we are in X tilde. Mm -hmm. Okay, can be either equal to epsilon, the pullback of the transcendental part that oh, comes so from X, zero. or zero. In this, in this case, we have PG equal to zero. In the second case, it means that this should be 
equal to this one. This is the second case. But x is canonical, so if this happens, the map, the canonical map from x or x tilde to some uh, pn canonical should factorize through s. But so this must be of degree 1. Okay? This is canonical, so this cannot happen. So the degree which we assume, you know, we assume canonical in, in your definition that the map is rational or yeah, because it's a surface of degree bigger or equal than uh, 5. The canonical is O1 or o D minus 4. To prove uh, now the well, till the last, till the last uh, step, uh, it works also for the K3 case. Now in D equal to four, but this last part no. Okay, because, because the K3 is not a canonical. Okay. Yeah, you have ten minutes? No. No, because you're over time already. No, fourteen. No. I will start at the 40, sorry. You have 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah sorry. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I finish here. <laughs> okay. So maybe I skip. Now you make me. I skip the part that the P1 is. Uh, uh, so maybe I skip part 2 because to save some time. Uh, also, is uh, something interesting, but well, I skip this. So you have to pass the universal covering and then uh, you prove uh, more or less in the same way that uh, P1, uh, so just two, <laughs> just two words, if you have X, uh, you take the universal covering of S, universal covering, you have X tilde, X, uh, you you have this map, you lift, this is simply connected in this case, so you lift this map from this to this. It means that S tilde is compact, because this is compact, so this degree is finite. Then we apply the, the result, uh, the, the, the result given before, and uh, we see, because if the degree of... Still this body is this back. Is the universal covering. And then you take the fiber product. You take the, the cover, lifting property of the product. No. This is fundamental group is zero because so you can lift. You can lift. You why you need the extilda. you just map X to This is irrational. This is a rational map, so uh, you can lift. Uh, you can lift as a rational map, but so T does once it was the cover, once it's uh, go up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's uh, So you leave this, and then you you prove that these and these are becomes uh, birational equivalent, but then it means that the automorphism of uh, the automorphism of X tilde is uh, bigger, is different from uh, the group one, but for the general surface in P three, we. Know. What is it? This can be either this is PG equal to zero or is yeah, birational. Uh, but for S, not for S tilde. So we go to S tilde. We have this map. I mean, S tilde is nominated. You can use for S tilde the same argument as you use for S to imply that PG of S tilde is Q of S tilde is zero. Or the arbitration equivalent. So this is the universal covering. Could be the universal covering. Yeah, but there are no automorphisms. For the general one, there. Yeah, exactly. This is the argument. Is a, yeah, but but when we this is uh, when we instead of using 
x that is simply connected, you see the, the product of two curves, it becomes more, uh, it's impossible to do this. Okay? So we have to use a more. But your argument is fishy because uh, we assume that the universal covering is finite. It's finite because this map is, com this map, uh, this is compact and the image of this is compact. So this one is finite. Oh, this is this is non trivial map. This is compact. So this is this is open and closed. This is closed. So this is subjective. So this is compact, so this is finite. Okay? Take the universal covering. This is this is compact because it's a blow up of X. This is compact. You lift this. The image of this is subjective. It is a two surfaces. Not three is dominant map. Should be subjective. This is dominant, so this is dominant. This is compact, this is compact. It's closed, no? Imagine compact is com is closed, and then is everything. So this is finite, and then you. So this you prove this now, okay? Anyway, sorry, I I should skip. Yeah, it's called yeah. holomorphic map. Can do the exercise. Yeah, it's holomorphic. Yeah. And it's compact. If the image is dimension two. It's compact. The image is yeah. Subject. Yeah. Exercise. Okay. It contains a compact super. Ah, anyway. So what was the the the? No, I lost a lot of time, uh, but not so important. So it is uh, okay. So we proved this lemma, but this was not enough because uh, at, at this time, uh, when we arrive, uh, uh, okay. Uh, when we arrive to this uh, to this point, we with uh, Lucio Guerra proof, we did, we try to use Urwitz uh, scheme. Uh, with this space. But this was in some sense silly because so take some surfaces with PG equal Q equals zero is simply connected, take a covering and uh, see what happens. But when you do a covering like this, it's very difficult that you obtain uh, surfaces of degree D in P3. You obtain some module like some... Uh, so but we, okay, we really... But for a small, uh, small volume, we, we were able to prove it. I have no time to, to explain now, otherwise I, I, don't, I didn't see nothing on the proof with uh, Young Yam Lee. So we prove that uh, for D less or equal than 9. Now, what was the, the, the stupid, uh, not the stupid, the, the, the idea? was very simple, and uh, we were stupid before using your with space. And uh, the idea was sim simple like this. Take C in an hyperplane of X. So we have this map. And we restrict and complete. This is very general, say very general. the map from uh, the curve uh, C to S. And uh, we consider the image. And uh, we take the normalization. But now C is the general hyperplane of X. So we can apply the previous result for curves. So the tilde can be either this is birational, this is isomorphism, or the tilde is P1. But if this is P1, S should be ruled. 
So the only possibility is that this is aberrational, uh, is aberrational onto its image. And so what we find is something like this. Now we have the following, let's say, uh, proposition or theorem. If uh, d is bigger or equal than 9, c, c is uh, the general smooth plane curve, because we take any x, c, the general, very general, smooth. You're proving point 2 where C and D were general curves, so I don't see why we have a plane curve. Because it's an hyperplane of a surface in P3. But he's still doing one. Are you, what are you proving? That's the main question. I thought you had finished proving one. No, I proved just that PG is Q is equal to zero, but now we have to prove, uh, we have to take care of this ah, case. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have to finish the proof. In the case when we have no other structure on S, so the case of PG equal Q ah, equal yeah. to zero, and we have to find a contradiction. And we, so, uh, instead of looking, uh, map the count of moduli between surface and surfaces, we say, okay, we take the hyperplane, we restrict the, 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 the curve, the function to, to the curve, and, uh, and we, what we find, that there are no, There are not directional, say embedding, I don't know if it is a, of C into S with PG S equal Q of S equal to zero and the fundamental group of S is equal to zero. Okay, so this gives a contradiction. So if you prove this, uh, this proposition, we get a contradiction. The main point is that now this can be done by a count of moduli. Be but, but now the, 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 the count of moduli becomes simpler because we have a problem from curve and surfaces, not from surfaces to surfaces. Okay? I think uh, I cannot give, I'm very sorry, but uh, I'm finished. This is very easy to, you compute the normal of the curve inside the surfaces and compute the moduli of S and compare and uh, we find the, so we, we decrease uh, strongly the, the, the problem uh, on the moduli count in this way. Hmm? But this was the idea, sorry, okay. but, <laughs> okay. Questions, comments?